we begin the series of self-paced videos for Module 3, Developing an Entrepreneurial Mindset, with Mindset itself. For this new module, we propose as guiding metaphor the idea of a castle. Just like a castle has a strong foundation that supports the entire structure, the same way core beliefs and personal values are the basis for someone's mindset. The walls of the castle represent the boundaries of the mindset, protecting against external threats and defining how open or resistant an individual is to new ideas, challenges and opportunities. The towers of the castle are symbolic for the strength of the person and the skills they possess. Each tower can be an aspect of the mindset, like creativity, adaptability, innovation, resilience, problem solving, and so on. The gateways are the willingness to be open to new experiences, perspectives, and growth. The moat surrounding the castle represents the resilience of the mindset. Just like a moat offers protection against challenges, the same way the resilience helps people navigate setbacks and obstacles with determination. Are you ready to explore the chambers of the castle, just like the chambers of our minds? In this first video of Module 3, we're going to cover mindset as the castle itself, with a strong foundation on which is built, with thick walls that keep it safe and steady, with towers that rise high above, gateways to access it, and a moat that guards it. We'll start with what is a mindset and how it works, moving forward towards how to develop an entrepreneurial mindset. Next, we'll be covering what to be aware of when it comes to mindset, and close with an invitation to watch two TED Talks on the topic of mindset and extract a billboard message from each of them. Let's start strolling to the chambers of the castle, shall we? Mindset, as the castle itself, can have an infinite number of rooms that take you deeper and deeper into the heart of the building. Just as a castle is a complex and intricate construction, the same way our mindset is a complicated thing to unravel and to understand. The castle becomes a symbolic reminder of how the mindset is built over time, developed through experiences, learning and self-awareness, upgraded to enhance strategies of coping with negative thoughts, self-doubt and limiting beliefs, and expanded to incorporate new perspectives and possibilities. So how do you define a mindset? When we think about mindset, we should think about the lens through which we perceive and approach challenges. And the accent falls on the word perceive. This lens of mindset colors our interpretation of challenges, molding our attitudes, driving our actions, and ultimately influencing the outcomes we achieve. It is a mental framework that influences our beliefs, decisions, and responses to the world around us. As a mental model, it structures and organizes thoughts, concepts, beliefs, and perceptions, helping people to categorize, interpret, and analyze the information they receive and experiences they live. Carl Dweck, a world-known researcher on mindset, believes it is formed during our early childhood through praising and labeling. Praising a child with general terms like smart makes them believe they either have a specific quality or don't have it and there's nothing they can do to change that fact. Praising the process itself emphasizes the efforts children put in accomplishing a task regardless of results, connecting success with effort and strategy, which a child can control and improve over time. Labeling involves assigning people with stereotypes, which we take in from the world around us, like boys are good at math and girls are good at reading, or boys should know how to fix stuff around the house and girls should know how to cook. These labels can become internalized stereotypes and impact the way our mindset is built from the early beginning. A mindset encompasses a comprehensive set of attitudes that extend across culture, values, philosophy, outlook, and disposition. It shapes how we view the world, guiding our interactions, choices, and responses by grounding them in our unique combination of beliefs and perspectives. We can also consider the mindset as the silent architect of our mental landscape, constructing the blueprint that shapes our perceptions, constructs our responses, and lays the foundation for our journey through the intricate maze of life. You may wonder, how could you develop an entrepreneurial mindset? What makes it so special, like a floating castle that seems unassailable? You could start with how entrepreneurs face uncertainty. 
They embrace it and become comfortable with both uncertainty and change. They actively seek opportunities in ambiguity and learn to adapt quickly to evolving circumstances. They also selectively choose those opportunities which are best to invest in, whether it's their time, money, attention, products and services, networking efforts, and so on. Rather than attempting to do everything, they focus on identifying and pursuing opportunities that align with their strengths, goals, and market demands. Furthermore, entrepreneurs practice disciplined execution. Discipline is essential for turning ideas into actions and actions into plans. These plans, once executed with consistency, ensure that milestones are achieved. By practicing making informed decisions with rigor and discipline, entrepreneurs act decisively and learn from mistakes, constantly adjusting their course as needed. Questioning assumptions and conventional wisdom is another characteristic of an entrepreneurial mindset. By developing a habit of critically evaluating the status quo on a regular basis and exploring new perspectives with curiosity, hidden opportunities are uncovered. Entrepreneurs cultivate a mindset of continuous learning and improvement. They openly embrace failures as learning opportunities and apply the insights they gain to iterate and refine their strategies. They cultivate resilience as part of their mindset to allow them to persevere, learn from adversity, and keep moving forward. The entrepreneurial mindset is focused on networking and collaborations, on engaging with a diverse range of individuals, both within and outside the desired field, because collaboration can lead to fresh insights, creative solutions, and valuable connections that foster innovation. From these collaborations with peers, mentors, coaches, customers and stakeholders, entrepreneurs use the input they receive to refine their ideas, products, services and strategies, building a culture of continuous improvement. Are you ready to start building that castle now? When it comes to mindset, there are some things you should pay attention to, like the next ones. You may think that your personality decides your mindset, but it can be the other way around too. Certain personality traits can predispose you to adopt a specific mindset. For example, people with a more open and adventurous personality may be inclined to adopt a growth-oriented mindset that welcomes change and learning. But it can happen the other way around too. For example, being punctual is likely to come from the mindset of having respect as a personal value, interwined with a core belief that if one is late, it means they don't respect the other person. And from that mindset, being punctual feeds into being conscientious as a personality trait. Mindsets are considered as deep and rooted beliefs, and they can come in a variety of ways. There are eight dimensions considered for this, each with two facets, between which people can fit it in a range type of approach rather than in a black or white type of approach. There is caring over control, abundance over scarcity, well-being over welfare, productive over defensive, interconnectedness over self-oriented, collective over individual, growth over fixed, and reflection over action. Each of them may be useful and even vital in specific conditions, but some of them are more needed when it comes to entrepreneurial mindset, like growth, interconnectedness, action, and productive mindsets. Developing a positive and open mindset is not a one-time achievement. Rather, it's a continuous process that requires awareness, effort, and dedication. Just as physical fitness requires consistent exercise, mental fitness demands consistent practice of constructive thought patterns and openness to new perspectives. We each come to life with unique genetic makeups. We have different aptitudes and carry various capabilities and capacities. That is biodiversity as a given. From there, however, we have learned tendencies that keep us unique. From our early experiences, we formulate stories that continue to shape the way we see the world in front of us. Specifically, the way we frame situations and taking perspective tend to impact how we come to think, feel, and behave. Mindset is not fixed or immutable. It's a malleable aspect of your cognitive framework that can evolve over time. Understanding that mindset is flexible implies that you have the power to shape it and shift it in your own way of thinking. As Carol Dweck suggests, by incorporating yet, 
you transform a statement of limitation into one of potential and possibility. Like instead of saying, I don't understand this concept, you can say, I don't understand this concept yet. The simple linguistic shift reflects the growth mindset's belief in the capacity for development and the acknowledgement that learning is an ongoing journey. Try it out for yourself and see how the afternoon light will flood your castle with warmth and understanding. In order to dig deeper into the ground and build a strong foundation for your castle, we bring to you two TED Talks on the topic of entrepreneurial mindset. Thus, we propose action number one, writing billboard ideas from these two TED Talks. You don't need to grab that pen and paper to write down the answers because you can take it as food for thought and answer each one thoroughly in your working journal. We have selected two TED Talks for this exercise. Emmy Wilkinson, The Secret of How to Think Like an Entrepreneur, and Bill Roach's The Power of an Entrepreneurial Mindset. After watching the first video, identify the main points, the core message, and the supporting points. Write them down to begin with. Then close your eyes. Take a moment and imagine you are driving on a remote highway in the middle of the mountains in a foreign country. Millions of people use that highway every day on their way to work. You found the video insightful and you wish to share this knowledge with them. What billboard message would you put on the side of the road for them to see? Write it in your local language or in English, but make sure it fits a billboard sign. Take a break before watching the second video. Repeat the same as above and decide on a message to put on a different billboard sign. Write those two messages on two pieces of paper or on your phone and have them always at hand. They might just end up being useful from time to time. As mentioned, you will also find this exercise in your working journal with instructions and links for each of the two TED Talks. Make sure not to skip the billboard messages at the end. We might just ask you about them at the residential weekend to share the knowledge with those other drivers on the highway. As usual, we end the video with a quote. Whether you think you can or can't, you're right, by Henry Ford. This quote emphasizes the profound influence of mindset on your abilities and outcomes. It highlights the power of self-belief and the impact that your mindset can have on determining success or failure. The moment you think you have the ability to do or to achieve something, then you will for sure succeed in it. If not, then you won't succeed and prove yourself you didn't have it in you. It's that simple. Your subconscious mind is the one who leads your actions. What you think becomes your reality. See you in our next video where we will be covering creativity and innovation in problem solving.